Hey, big BCW show this Friday night at the high school. Tell your friends. Don't need a flyer. I go to every show. Wait, is that you? Uh, what do you mean? Facing Mr. CQ in the main event. It's definitely you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can see the resemblance, but that guy's a huge indie star. Why would he be out here flyering for a show? Hey, is this weirdo bothering you? He's one of the wrestlers. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Have fun at the show. Yo, I thought wrestlers had money. Why would he be driving around some crappy bug van? See? See? Good point. More proof that I am not who you think I am. Sure. You gotta check out this guy's highlights online. He's going to be a huge star in WWE someday. <laughs> Thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean, about the wrestler on the poster, who is, um, definitely not me. Come on. Let's go. Hope you beat Mr. CQ. I can't stand that guy. Oh, well, maybe I'll see you in the crowd Friday night. I mean, he's a fan. As a fan. Uh, definitely not from the ring. Because I'm not a wrestler. Hey, I want you to meet Matt Bloom from NXT. Matt, this is my protege, Van Gogh. I'm a big fan, Mr. Bloom. I mean, I've studied all your matches from your run in WWE and Japan. Really great stuff. Thanks. You must be a true student of the game. I try to be. So why do they call you Van Gogh? Are you some kind of artist? Not quite. I gave him that name because everywhere he goes, his dad's old work Van Gogh's. He practically lives in that thing. Yeah, practically. So what brings you out to our show? I'm here to scout your opponent. Cole Quinn. Cole's great. You won't be disappointed. I'll have my eye on you as well. Wait, really? You're wrestling Cole, so it'll be kind of hard not to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. Well, I should go get ready. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Bloom, and thanks for coming out to the show. Man, good to see you. Slow your roll, Greeny. Tonight's my big chance to get signed to NXT, so don't do anything to screw it up. <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna give it everything I have tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. All I know is I'll be standing in Orlando at the Performance Center. You can continue standing in high school gyms. <laughs> we'll see.
Someday we'll be able to afford play-by-play -play announcers. Until then, you're stuck with me, Baron Blade. If you're wondering where Mr. CQ's opponent got all these sweet moves, you can thank me after the show because I trained him. This is what BCW is all about. No fancy stage, no flashy pyro, no one running their mouth for way too long. Well. Except for me. Other than that, it's all action, all the time, and these guys are two of the best. These two have the potential to go all night. But I hope they don't, because per the school principal, we have a strict 11 p.m. curfew. Vince McMahon, what a maneuver. I think I heard a bone break. Somebody call the school nurse. This is what BCW is all about. These guys are hitting each other with everything but the cafeteria sink. This is the most exciting thing to take place in this gym since last week's pep rally. Good match, Van Gogh. Yeah, great Thanks. job out there. It means a lot coming from Orlando, you. Orlando, here I come! I'm gonna get a condo on the beach. There's no beach in Orlando. Well, then I'll make sure to furnish my condo with wall-to-wall -wall sand. Before you start making big plans, we have a few things to discuss. Like what? My start date? Future opponents? Waist measurements for the NXT title? Not exactly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of your Mr. CQ character. You need to come up with something different. It's not really a character, but fine. I can come up with something different after I get to NXT. Full disclosure, I don't think you'll be heading to NXT. Not anytime soon, at least. You're just not ready. I was actually more impressed with your opponent over here. Wait, what? So I've decided to offer him an opportunity instead. 
you'll have a tryout match on an up-and-coming WWE event. Really? Yes. I've been doing this a while now, and I know talent when I see it. Is this some I kind of it. joke? Because you were supposed to be here to scout me and not him. Plans change all the time in this business. That's a good lesson for you to learn. I have to go catch my flight. You and Baron will be hearing from us soon with the details on your tryout match. Don't make me regret my decision. I won't. Thank you. Unbelievable. I told you not to ruin this for me, and look what happened. Whoa, all I did was give it everything I had out there, okay? I can't help it that he saw more potential in me. Potential? Or was it your boy Baron here putting you over with him? I always knew that he was your favorite, but I didn't think it would cost me a shot at WWE. This was all Matt Bloom's decision. Do you think I want to see my top guys leave? <clears throat> and do you think we want to stay here forever, wrestling in front of a few hundred people for crap money? That's not what I meant. I'm just saying we're building something good here. Besides, if you left, who would design our title belts? I only make your belts because you pay us so little for wrestling. It's so bad teacher's pet over here has to live in his van. I thought that was a joke. I only live in it when times are tough, which is most of the time. Well, that nickname's not as much fun anymore. Look, you just need to trust the process. We're building a brand. And think of it this way. If any of us make it to WWE, it'll be good for everyone. It'll help put BCW on the map and lead to more opportunities. Oh, yeah. Easy for you to say. You're the one with a WWE tryout match. He's right, though. What's the saying? A rising boat will lift all tides? I think it's the other way around. Whatever. Come on, let's drop this thing and bring it in for a BCW handshake. Yeah, no thanks. I'll let you two celebrate alone. Don't worry about him. And congrats! I am truly happy for you! This is way bigger than the high school gym, and the VFW, and the state fair combined. Don't let that bother you. All that matters is the rings the same size. All right, good point, but I assume their rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious stains. Hey, we're working on fixing that. Come on, let's go meet Triple H and uh, try to play it cool. You don't want to recite his entire career history like you did with Matt Bloom. <laughs> <sighs> it wasn't his entire career history. Hey, Hunter, it's been a while. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that against him. Look, I've heard a lot of good things. But I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity. So you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster we have. Go introduce yourself to Braun. Don't worry. He won't hurt you. Not until your match, at least. Uh, hey, Bron? I, I just wanted to introduce myself. No autographs. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm actually your opponent tonight. You mean victim? So how do you want to die tonight? Uh, <laughs> I'd like to survive tonight, if that's okay with you. What I meant was... In what type of match do you want to get these hands?
Uh, tables match could be cool. The owner of our promotion could never afford tables, so we never really got to use them. I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight. We're going to do what I want to do, because I'm the monster among men. So it'll be a steel cage match. That way you can't run from me. Steel cage. Great idea. That was my second choice.
Just make the most of your opportunity, win or lose. Matt Bloom brought you in here because he saw something in you. Just go out there and show him that again. Oh, and try to get some free swag. I'd like a Budio's lunchbox if you're taking requests. What, like a replica title belt? Of course, just trying to keep the mood light. But if you do see a lunchbox lying around, I've seen some of your indie stuff online. Not bad. <laughs> and I can't believe how stupid you are in person. I look forward to watching Braun destroy you tonight.
The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 200 pounds, the King, Brian Jacobs. Look at this guy. He looks like deer in the headlights. No, no, no. That's the look of someone whose life is flashing before their eyes. And his opponent, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. I saw this guy pull up in the parking lot today, and he was driving a bug exterminator. Well, that's appropriate because he's about to get squashed by Braun Strowman. Have you seen some of this guy's matches on the indies? He's actually pretty good. No, I've got better things to do, like watching puddles evaporate or reading the phone book. Wait, wait, you still have a phone book? Yeah, remind me to hit you with it on SmackDown tomorrow. What are the odds this guy can pull off the upset over Braun? One in a billion, one in a trillion? Yeah, uh, so, so you're telling me there's a chance? This is actually this guy's tryout match tonight. What's he try out for? To be a crash test dummy? Should we even bother to learn this guy's name? <laughs> I'll just stick to his initials. D-O-A. remember Baron Blade? Apparently he trained this guy. Yeah, I can tell. What are the odds this guy can pull off the upset over Braun? One in a billion? One in a trillion? Yeah, uh, so, so you're telling me there's a chance? guy's name? <laughs> I'll just stick to his initials. D-O-A. Look at this 
this guy. He looks like deer in the headlights. No, 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 no. That's the look of someone whose life is flashing before their eyes. I heard this is actually this guy's tryout match tonight. What's he trying out for? To be a crash test dummy? I saw this guy pull up in the parking lot today, and he was driving a bug exterminator van. Well, that's appropriate because he's about to get squashed by Braun Strowman. Do you guys remember Baron Blade? Apparently, he trained this guy. Yeah, I can tell. Have you seen some of this guy's matches on the indies? He's actually pretty good. No, I've got better things to do, like watching puddles evaporate or reading the phone book. Wait, wait, you still have a phone book? Yeah, remind me to hit you with it on SmackDown tomorrow. What are the odds this guy can pull off the upset over Braun? One in a billion, one in a trillion? Hey, uh, so, so you're telling me there's a chance? Yeah, I can tell. I heard this is actually this guy's tryout match tonight. What's he trying out for? To be a crash test dummy? Should we even bother to learn this guy's name? <laughs> I'll just stick to his initials. D-O-A. Have you seen some of this guy's matches on the indies? He's actually pretty good. No, I've got better things to do, like watching puddles evaporate or reading a phone book. Wait, wait, you still have a phone book? Yeah, remind me to hit you with it on SmackDown tomorrow. I saw this guy pull up in the parking lot today, and he was driving a bug exterminator van. Well, that's appropriate because he's about to get squashed by Braun Strowman. Guy. He looks like deer in the headlights. No, 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 no. That's the look of someone whose life is flashing before their eyes. I heard this is actually this guy's tryout match tonight. What's he trying out for? To be a crash test dummy?
You did a good job out there. Really? Feels like I got run over by a big bearded tank. Think it was enough for him to sign me? I don't know. But no matter what, you always have a home in the BCW. Thanks. Hey, I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage with a monster. So with that being said, we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Look that over and return it at tomorrow night's show. This is amazing. Thank you. I would shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are dislocated. Don't worry about it. Rest up and we'll finalize everything tomorrow night. You did it. I'm shocked. Me too. I just can't believe it. I mean, against all odds. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. You've become one of my top guys. You'll be fine though, right? I mean, you got Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry, what, what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate, not to worry about me and BCW. You enjoy the moment. I'm gonna go talk to Triple H about when you might start, so maybe I can get you on one more BCW show. We'll do a big farewell match. It'll be great. Sounds good. I... I'll see you back at the hotel. Congrats. I'm... I'm proud of you. Thanks, Baron. Couldn't have done it without you. Just a one-time thing? Or are you signing with WWE? Well, actually, I was literally just offered an NXT contract, and I can't wait to get started. You should just skip NXT and go straight to the main roster. Actually, you know what? Hey, Triple H, you say listen to your audience? Well, the audience is saying that I'm good enough to go straight to the main roster, which actually, I think I proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... <laughs> I proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... Less than 24 hours after we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event, and there's video. I'd really love to hear this explanation. Look, the fan attacked me first. I was just defending myself. What am I supposed to do, just stand there and get beat up? All we can see is you fighting with a member of the WWE Universe, and that's not good. Well, that's how it happened. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a publicly traded global company. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans, and it will not be tolerated. 
On top of that, you were bashing NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? I was just having fun with the fans. I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and the fan attacked me. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your guys, Baron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, because I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Leave the building or I will have security escort you out. Don't ever bring me one of his guys again. This is on you, too. Understood. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations. You did it in record time. Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure out something else. Now, come on, grab your stuff. We gotta go. Just a minute. Wakey, wakey, Jake the Snakey. <sighs> it is too early for that to be funny. Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Triple H called and wants to offer me a contract again? No, better. What could be better than that? Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral. It's over 2 million views now. Sorry, make that 2.2 million. So a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Because controversy creates cash. My phone's been blowing up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is skyrocketing. Okay, okay, this could be good. It could be very good. We could turn chicken crap into chicken salad, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I get it. You're gonna stick it to Triple H and WWE by making your own success in the indies. You'll be way bigger than you ever would have been in NXT or WWE, and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean, what other choice do I have? I'm in, I'm in. All right. Now, go brush your teeth. Your breath is terrible. It's too early for this. <laughs> 